Okay guys, um, welcome to DC Train Automation. I've had a few questions lately about um, mimic panels and switching um, point motors from an analog switch. Um, and for the guys that are running iTrain and they want to have analog switching as well as iTrain switching points, is it possible? So yes, it is possible uh, with the DigiKeys equipment. Now, within the DigiKeys equipment, there is a function uh, with a feedback module to make it so rather than it sends a feedback message on the output, it sends an accessory address. So you can assign uh, an accessory address to the paired outputs or an individual output. And if it's thrown, uh, it goes back over, in this case, S88, um, back to the command station. Now. If the command station receives that accessory address, then again in iTrain train controller, it will be able to set it and see it's been set within the software. Uh, there's a few things you have to do to set this up, nothing major, uh, but you can do it. You have two options. You can use a grounded 4088 S88 or an Opto. I've got it set up here at the moment. Very, this is really just put together to show you guys. Um, so I've got a Opto S88 and what I've basically done is this so we have a toggle switch and the toggle switch switches between the two outputs that I've used so on here you'll see there's two wires going into the 4088 from the switch um, I've also put a green and red LED so you can see it change so when we switch the point you can see it goes from red to green okay and that command then goes across S88 um, back to the command station. So the switch is powered by one rail. The LED comes off the other side of the switch. And then the common return of the LED goes back to the 4088 Opto. And it changes, as you can hear, when I change it. And the LED changes. So you can see it changing. Okay, so I've got a coal bolt here um, on address one. Uh, so I set the address of that, and then when I hit the switch, the coal bolt changes, as you can see. Okay, so because it's happening there, I can also see that in iTrain or whatever. So on here at the moment, I don't know if you can see. Um, we have got the switch panel for switching accessories in the DigiCars DR5000. So if I switch it, the point changes. If I switch it back with the point switch, it also changes. And in here you'll see it change too. So this will go from green to red. Okay, if we have eye train. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to see this, but I'll zoom right in so you can. So here's the point. Oh, I've not connected iTrain, hold on. Okay, so now, there we go, so it went back in the other way. And now it's switched. And the points are switched into. So if I change it in iTrain, it changes. If I change it on the switch, it also changes. So you could create a mimic panel with lots of switches in back to a 4088 opto or grounded unit, and you would be, be able to enable this procedure. Um, I'll just zoom in on the screen to show you how I've done that. So if we just look at the screen here, so all we do is this, uh, in the DR5000, uh, we open this up, we go to the S88 output, and in here I said to it, there's one S88 module connected to the DR5000. I've then, so then you can see it's monitoring the first 16 outputs, and then I've gone to extended S88 address module. And on here, I've told it that there's one control module 
in the drop down list there's other things you can use but let's choose the 4088 click to edit and in here you'll see it says what is it paired momentary what type of um, toggle switch whatever it is you wish to use okay um, it works with to be honest any of them on the right hand side here is the address so the first two outputs I've got for address one so you've got it thrown one way or the other uh, you just execute that and that is all you do then you wire in your switch and the point motor moves hope that was of interest um, click on subscribe and um, any more future developments and things I can show you I will I um, hope this is of interest